Oh, holy shit, they're about to, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Unbelievable moments caught on camera when police popped the tires of a car that was on the run in Daytona Beach. This video was shared exclusively with Fox 35, and tonight police believe that the man behind the wheel of that car was involved in a deadly drive-by shooting earlier in the day. Thanks for joining us here at 11. I'm John Brown. Good evening, everybody. I'm Luann Sorrell. That drive-by happened right at the busy intersection in broad daylight. Fox 35's Marie Edinger is joining us live from Daytona Beach right now. And Marie, you spoke exclusively with the police chief tonight. What did he say? I did. He explained that the man you just saw in that dash camera video was arrested because of the high speed chase, but he is also being questioned as a person of interest related to that homicide. That's why police were chasing him in the first place. And I spoke exclusively with the chief of police about the progress they're making in this case. My team is the best in the business, so I, I, there's never a concern about us being able to track down leads. Daytona Beach police think they're closer to solving their homicide investigation. They tracked down a person of interest just hours after the shooting. Something is going on. <gasps> Are they chasing someone? Exclusive video into Fox 35's newsroom shows a driver leading police on a high-speed chase through the city. They eventually caught him at Cedar Highlands Boulevard and Jimmy Ann Drive. Once we got behind the vehicle, it fled. We were about 90% sure that that's the person we were looking for. So we did pursue the vehicle, and luckily no one was, was hurt, and we have him in custody. This is all in response to a deadly shooting at Bellevue Avenue and South Nova Road. Traffic cameras show a dark-colored key a sedan pull up next to a blue Hyundai. Two people extend their arms, open fire, and take off. What is it like for you seeing gunfire in a really busy street like that? Like you said, broad daylight. It's it's honestly it's offensive because it's very brazen to do that. Broad daylight, people around, anybody could have been hit. An early standby. Yeah, we also heard from the police chief talking about how proud he is of the community. He mentioned that it's tips from the public that help lead to arrests like the one we saw today. He's hoping more people will come forward. Live in Daytona Beach, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.